Let's talk about Abby Anderson. I know a lot of people hate Abby, and that's fair. I mean, she did a terrible thing, and you're allowed to hate her for it. I hate her for it too sometimes. But here's the thing. I don't think that you get to hate Abby and write her off without also writing off Joel. When we play The Last of Us Part 1, we mainly get to play as Joel. We get to see the world through his eyes, and his experiences are essentially our experiences. And it's not even that we go through everything with Joel, but as Joel. We root for him because we are him, and we understand where he's coming from in almost all aspects. When Joel kills the surgeon, Dr. Anderson, or when we kill the surgeon, he does it because we do it because we're trying desperately to save Ellie. He was so hesitant to get close to Ellie, but he couldn't help it. He fell in love with her like she was his daughter, and he couldn't have another of his daughters die again. So he did what he'd been doing the entire game, murder. He did lots of murder, but he saved Ellie. So murder was just a thing that he had to do. He probably wasn't even thinking clearly when he did it. He was just thinking about Ellie and how his world would literally shatter if anything happened to her. So what Joel did was justified, right? We all still love Joel. Enter Abby. We are introduced to Abby and playing as Abby before we even know who she is or what she's up to. And before we even get a chance to learn about her character or her group, she does the unthinkable. She kills Joel. Horrible. Yes, we hate her. We wish Abby would die. But why did she kill Joel? Because that surgeon that he killed to save Ellie was Abby's dad. Oh, but that's still not an excuse to murder someone. She should still be hated. And that's when I say, yeah, you're right. That's not an excuse. What Abby did is absolutely not okay. But I'm not here to say that what Abby did was okay. I'm here to say that Abby is the same as Joel. And if we played part one as Abby instead of Joel or as her dad, and our first introduction to Joel was him killing Dr. Anderson, we would hate Joel, wouldn't we? If anyone tried to make the argument that he was just trying to save his daughter, no one would accept that because it wouldn't make it right. Joel would have been the guy who came in and shot Abby's dad in the head while he was trying to save the world. Nothing else would have mattered. Players would have rioted, rage quit or happily slam that golf club into Joel's head to get revenge right along with her. Abby was grief stricken and us as players would have been too. And that's the point, that the hero of one story could very easily be the villain of somebody else's. And we only view Joel as the hero because we met him first. We played his story first. Joel is the hero of his story and Abby is the hero of hers. Not to mention that Abby continues to grow as a character the exact same way that Joel did in part one. We see how caring she is and how much love she has for other characters and the lengths that she will go to and the dangers she will put herself through just to help other people who need it. I mean, she walked across two foot wide bridges over skyscrapers and fought against her own people to save someone she hardly even knew because she knew this person was good and deserved it and needed it. She even shows guilt to what she did to Joel, which again, doesn't make what she did okay, but it makes her human. Flawed and imperfect and yeah, shitty, but human. Just like Joel. Joel and Abby are not so different from each other. Both have done horrible things, but they have done those horrible things to the villains of their own stories. And you don't have to like Abby. You don't have to like a person who killed someone you loved and you shouldn't have to. But just remember, the only reason we didn't love the person Joel killed was because we hadn't met him yet. But Abby did love him and Joel took him away from her. It made Abby a genuinely nice person who really just wanted the best for everyone to do something terrible. It drove a good person to do a bad thing. And that in no way makes what she did okay. But I will say again, that it does not make her worse than Joel. If you can love Joel despite his unnecessary murders, then you can love Abby too. And there's a lot to love about her. She is a great complex character with a lot of growth. And yeah, she deserves a lot of what happens to her, just like Joel did. But she is not the villain of this story.